Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right, all right. Thank you for entering the dojo today. Today we're going to talk about the Super Bowl. Dun, 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 So let's see, I'm recording this on Tuesday the 4th. The Super Bowl was on the 2nd. Uh, no doubt you know that the San Francisco 49ers lost. They were up by 10 points and they lost. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about driving. So I landed uh, uh, in an airplane on the, on the 30th, on Thursday, Thursday afternoon. I actually missed my flight in Bangkok in the morning and uh, had to get an afternoon flight. So instead of landing on Thursday at 9 in the morning, I landed at 3 in the afternoon, which means I had a little bit more traffic to deal with. But... Uh, I eventually got home late Thursday night and uh, rested up on Friday and Saturday. And then on Sunday, since I had written an article about, you know, driving on Super Bowl Sunday, I thought, well, why don't I go drive? Why don't I go see what it's like? So in this podcast, I am going to share with you my experience. And at the end of the podcast, I'll share with you my results. You know, like how much money did I make? So... Um, I'm living in Roseville, California, which is in the Sacramento area. And of course, I wanted to drive in San Francisco. So I got up at 3 a.m., got up at 3 a.m. and uh, showered and did all that stuff and was in my car at 4 a.m. I went and filled my car up with gas. And uh, there is a 24-hour Starbucks that I go to. And I picked up a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. That is my drink. And I drove for approximately an hour and a half to get to the city. And I got there at about 5.30. And it was a beautiful day. So uh, driving down, there was not much traffic. Of course, it's a Sunday morning, so there's not usually much traffic out. But it was a gorgeous day. It was uh, clear and crisp, no fog, no rain, and uh, not too hot. So it was really a beautiful day to be driving. Uh, I always feel much more comfortable driving when the roads are dry. Uh, My tires just stick to the stick to the road so much easier. And I don't have to worry about, you know, hitting the brakes hard and sliding, taking a turn too fast and sliding. So it was an ideal day. I felt really fortunate. Now, what I wrote about in the article was that um, it's it can be a nice busy day without being too trafficy, because it is Sunday, so not a lot of people are working, but there are more people than usual moving about, right? People are going to parties, people are going to buy buy stuff, uh, people are going to sports bars, Uh, just in general, more people are out and about. So um, as it turns out, that was definitely the case, uh, certainly in San Francisco, because I was busy virtually all day long which means I could drop somebody off and I wouldn't wait more than a few minutes and I got another ping. Or I was was dropping somebody off, uh, Lyft, you know, cues you up right away. You don't have to accept. So um, a lot of times I just, you know, just uh, finished the ride and then I was off on the next ride. So it was great. I also had a lot of um, airport runs, which surprised me, but I did have a lot of airport runs. I think I went to the airport five different times, four times to San Francisco, and then I got one long ride, which went from San Francisco all the way to the Oakland um, airport, 
And then I was lucky. I got a ride. I used my um, destination mode and I got a ride from Oakland back over the bridge to San Francisco. Um, I also in the article suggested that you carry around some water. So I went to Walmart on Saturday and I bought uh, 12, you know, of those little waters for like $3. And uh, the only person who drank water was me. <laughs> Nobody really wanted any water, although I offered it. Uh, but nobody wanted water. Everybody would say, uh, oh, that's okay, or that's okay, I've got my own. And um, I was like, great, okay. So it was actually nice having water uh, available like that, you know, just drinking a little, one of those little bottles of water when I got thirsty. Nobody was really too excited about the game. You know, I would talk it up a little bit, but I think San Francisco people, they're a little more... They're not as single-minded when it comes to football. You know, in the, in the San Francisco Bay Area, we have a lot of different activities, things you can be doing other than watching a football game. So I don't think we have, like, uh, like if I think about, like, Green Bay, you know, the people who, in the Green, the Green Bay Packer fans, those folks are really into it, do you know? I mean, they literally wear cheese, cheese hats, you know? I don't think you'd see that so much in San Francisco, uh, people just seem to be a little more subdued, I don't know, a little more uh, ethereal, a little more uh, thoughtful, you know, they're just sort of thinking more. So uh, no one got too excited about the game. Not much to talk about. Um, in the article, I said you should know, uh, you know, who the, who the quarterbacks were and uh, where the game was being played. A few people did ask me where the game was going to be played, and I did know it was at the Hard Rock Stadium um, in Miami. I did drive one guy to a restaurant bar um, at 1230. The game started at 330 and there was a little bit of a line. He said he wanted to get there early because he wanted to make sure he got a table. And, uh, you know, that that worked out for him okay because uh, the line was pretty short and uh, it looked like he was going to get in no problem. So overall, it was a great day. So what are, what are the key takeaways about my driving experience? It was just a lovely day. I... Um, Hold on here. I'm going to pull up my uh, results for the day. All right. So for the day, I, I had made 24 rides in nine hours of driving. So 24 trips in nine hours. So that's a little less than three per hour, uh, which makes sense. I had a few long rides, not a lot of really long rides. So I averaged about, you know, three, two, two and a half to three per hour. If you and my earnings for the day was three hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So if you subtract that twenty-seven dollars for gas, which is about what it was because I drive a hybrid, say I made three hundred dollars, it comes out to about you know thirty dollars uh, per hour. So not bad. It's like not like my best uh, earnings per hour, um, but I didn't have a lot of long rides, and sometimes you really can't control you know, when you're going to get the long rides. But I really enjoyed the day. Um, uh, the weather was nice. It was easy driving. There was not much traffic. I really didn't run into any traffic uh, most of the day. Um, the only time I ran into a little bit of traffic was when I was heading back out of San Francisco um, at about 3.30, heading back up to uh, Sacramento. I did run into a little bit of traffic, but very little throughout the day. And then uh, it was busy all day. That was great. There were no lulls, uh, $30 an hour after gas. I guess my key takeaway is uh, I wish all days were Super Bowl Sundays. You know, it was a nice day. It was just a simple, easy day. And uh, everybody was in a decent mood. The weather was great. It's just one of those days where I was really happy to be a driver, make decent money, and enjoy my passengers, and enjoy the weather, and enjoy all that San Francisco has to offer. And on top of it all, I was able to catch the second half of the game, which, as I said at the beginning, was not so great because my team, the San Francisco 49ers, kind of choked. They kind of choked. <coughs> they kind of choked and, and lost it. Um, so they still only have won five Super Bowls, whereas two teams have won six. So they are no longer in that elite, elite status of... Um, they could, they could have, they could have tied. Um, I believe it's Pittsburgh and and the Patriots, but uh, that did not happen. So that's how it went down. That's how it went down. 
beautiful day driving the Super Bowl. If uh, you didn't drive on Super Bowl Sunday, you might have missed out. Definitely, I would recommend doing it next year uh, because, um, you know, it's a nice day to go out and uh, talk to some people and, and make some decent money. All right, that's a wrap. Fist bump to all you drivers out there. Y'all rock it out there every day. I honor you. It's great to uh, share this with you. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Be safe out there. This is Nomad J saying this episode is in the can. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening and be safe out there.